Recently, I hosted an interview for the Analysis.News with Australian economist Steve Keen, in which he referred to William Nordhaus as the winner of the so-called Nobel Prize in economics. As I looked at the comments section afterwards, it was clear that not that many people understood why he had referred to the prize so derisively and in quotations. He was talking about one of the biggest scams of the neoliberal era. Contrary to widespread advertisement and popular belief, there is no Nobel Prize in economics. Alfred Nobel not only didn't create a Nobel Prize in economics, he avoided doing so for a very deliberate reason. He did not believe that economics counted as a science, nor that it deserved standing with the major fields that he identified. The emergence of something that we think of as the Nobel Prize of economics happened three quarters of a century after he died. Alfred Nobel died in 1895. Flash forward to 1968. A bunch of central bankers get together and create a new prize called the Spheregius Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences. But they give it some added prestige in a particular way. They make a donation to the Nobel Foundation and say that they are making this prize in memory of Alfred Nobel. From there, it becomes shorthand to simply call it the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economics. And from there, the Nobel Prize in Economics. To confuse matters further, the winner of a Spheregius Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel gets the same amount of money as the winner of a real Nobel Prize. The prize is handed out in Sweden immediately following the awarding of the previous Nobel Prizes. There's one key difference, though, between the Nobel Prize in Economics and an actual Nobel Prize. You've probably guessed what it is. The jury. The jury is not overseen by the Nobel Foundation. It's overseen by the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. And the way they've set up the prize, once you win it, you can continue to nominate for the rest of your life. Some of the earliest awardees were right-wing neoclassical economists. That set up an interesting circular effect. So far, over a third of the awardees have either been past students or professors at one university, the University of Chicago. The University of Chicago was, of course, home to the neoclassical economist Milton Friedman, considered by many to be the godfather of the neoliberal era. And Friedman himself was one of the first recipients of the so-called Nobel Prize in Economics. Since 2008, economics has seemed to many like a field in which one fails upwards. Yet many universities continue to mean specifically neoclassical economic theory when they talk about having an economics department. That's in large part because these economists continue to be introduced as Nobel Prize winning social scientists. But they're not. That's fake news. There is no Nobel Prize in economics.